Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter. Today we are going to be talking about the Genesis Tech PV Basic Kit. Now, the PV Basic Kit contains several different things, but at the heart of it is the PV Matte Box from Genesis Tech. And this one is a little different from the smaller, lighter um, Genesis Tech Light Matte Box that we talked about earlier. This one is larger, wider, and it also accommodates wider angle lenses much better. It also has two stages, one fixed, one rotating. And instead of four by four filters, this accepts four by 5.65 filters. So you're getting a different kind of filter set uh, than on the light map box. It's also a little different when it comes to the actual flags. On the light map box, you'll notice there's no way to attach um, flags onto the side. You only have the top eyebrow flag. This one comes with the top eyebrow front flag as well as the uh, ability to add side flags. The other unique thing about this particular kit is that not only is it a clip-on, but it also can be attached with rods. And not just attaching with rods, but it comes with a height adjustable accessory that allows you to adjust the height of the actual matte box. This is great because not only can you do clip-on and rods, but you can combine the two and have an absolutely rock solid setup. So right here, I have a Canon 5D, and you'll see the matte box is attached with rods, but it's also attached at the lens with the actual clip-on. So just like matte box light, we have the rod here that allows us to attach it to the lens ring and solidify it down to the actual rod. So, so this matte box really is for professionals who need the ability to add all flags as well as have two filters. So. For example, let's say you needed to have a polarizer and a grad filter. You could have the grad filter in the fixed and the polarizer in the rotating, and you could have you know the ability to use both at once. The other nice thing about this matte box is that it can actually drop the filters down as opposed to only up. So for example, let's say you have a grad filter and you want to do a horizon on a shot um, obviously the grad is going to start at the top with dark and slowly fade to transparent. The problem is if you just throw it in the matte box, you might not have it just where you want the grad to end. So on this particular matte box, you can just simply adjust it height wise going up a little bit or drop it down so that it actually goes below the lens and that way you can adjust the height of your grad. Once you assemble the brackets that uh, screw onto the actual matte box, it makes it really easy to remove all of the flags. The top one slides off to the side and then comes off. And then the side ones just go straight out. And then what I like to do is tighten down all of the screws so that you don't have any screws finding their way off of the matte box and then lost. And once you tighten all those down, now this gives you a awesome, nice, compact setup if you don't need the flags at all. So now I'm going to remove it from the rod setup. Um, I really like the way that this attached to the rods. It's very easy to remove. And here it is. So there's two screws that attach the adjustable bracket to the mat box itself. And uh, you have one screw here that allows you to adjust the height of the matte box. And what I like about this is it's not just a knob, but they actually give you a Phillips screw. This way you can really get that sucker on tight. The other thing I like about this matte box as opposed to the light matte box is it's just so much easier to access everything. And obviously a big part of that is the size of the matte box. Because it's a little larger, it's easier to access. So if we look at the light matte box, um, this is a little cramped when you have the lens all the way butted up there and then this little screw on the side to adjust the um, rotation is a little difficult to access. It's better than a lot of matte boxes I've worked with before but still a little difficult whereas on the PV matte box we have a very easy to access knob for the tension and tightening of the clip-on section. But you also have two screws on the side. These are for the filter trays and it's very easy to access them and adjust um, to get your filter trays out or if you need to adjust them so that they you know, are lowered 
and then you can tighten them back up with ease. So it's a great matte box, but again, it's not huge. This isn't um, gonna be ridiculous for setting it up with various rigs or if you need to change a lens or something. Um, they make it just the right size. It's big enough to accommodate those wide angle lenses and uh, gives you a little more flexibility with having the two trays, but it's not a monster. And it's really light too. That's the thing I love about Genesis Tech's equipment when it comes to their matte boxes is they're very light and uh, very strong. So hats off to them and uh, their quality of this product. If you wanna check it out, go to dsrvideoshooter.com. You'll find links to all of their matte boxes there. If you go to the equipment page, I have um, this, these matte boxes as well as the rest of their equipment. And I'll be doing more reviews of their gear up in the future.